Hello everyone, today we are going to do that crafting table we were talking about and um, beforehand I have to state um, this will not be a C++ tutorial, it will be completely widgets and blueprints because um, it's really hard to bother with um, all of that. So um, I have been passive lately. Um, about the videos at least I have been doing other stuff um, that were not tutorial related so hopefully from now on I will be a bit more active and um, bring out more videos so um, the crafting table we are talking about is pretty much like um, letters appear and you press those letters in time and um, if you can press them in time in a successful sequence we will get the item and um, if we don't basically we um, fail we completely wipe the entire team so um, on this tutorial I am not gonna implement the wipe thing and I got rid of my inventory UI so it will be impossible for us to see um, if we incremented it but you know um, it's pretty much straightforward of a thing so let's just begin um, I made a new folder named UI and another one under it named widgets so over here I'm gonna have um, user interface and widget blueprint uh, just like we had the um, user interface so I'm gonna name this um, crafting item pop up letter I'm gonna go in and now um, here it is screen size fill screen so now we want to get rid of this actually um, fill screen will be custom because this will be um, the letter itself but it will have some more things on it so um, first let's just add a text and um, make this slightly bigger and increase the punto however um, we could just make it snap into the canvas panel well you know what let's just get rid of canvas panel too and give it some sort of a container and I will make it a horizontal box there will just be one item in it but um, I don't care about it like um, let's just do this way so okay if we edit the text box and um, as you see there are now some artifacts on it and it should actually fill so if we made it fill and um, let's give it some text let's just say A to see if we can um, see it oh sorry not text box it will be a text okay so um, as you see it is almost filling it up but let's just make it fill even more and over here we will just change the font and make it big enough that only one letter fits in it so let's just go try 72 maybe a bit bigger than this um, 96 and it just um, disrupts the look of it so let's just go for 80 and uh, you know um, we could just adjust it like bring the text a bit more to right and a bit more upwards I don't know if I should waste time with it right now but um, let's just look at it is there something um, that we can quickly see no I cannot see at least render transform um, scale okay this one um, helps a bit maybe translation no it doesn't work and these amounts no pivot 
Okay, yeah. So pivot work. So I brought T over here and um, on Y it doesn't work, but let's just keep it this way. Let's just give um, give it another name just to see if we have a good look for it. So I press D and yes, it's pretty much um, as we want it to be. So this is like this for now. However, there is one more thing that we need to add and that is um, some sort of a border. And there will be two of them basically um, what it is going to do is um, the D letter will be shown in a border and there will be another bigger border over there and if the bigger one will shrink in time and when it becomes one with um, the inner border then it means that we run out of time and then um, the entire thing will be destroyed. So, um, the brush image, I don't know if this is like um, a good way to do it. And the border is like, um, just because of the horizontal box, it just looks a bit weird. So, um, maybe I need to adjust it a bit more. Let's just add a canvas panel. And place everything into this canvas panel. And canvas panel just doesn't look right. So we need to make it fill as well. Mm. Okay, is this the canvas panel? Is this the canvas panel? Yeah. Where's the text over here? Let's just bring it downwards. And on the border, let's just take it up. And over here, just because of the nature of the canvas panel, we can just move everything freely around. Uh, not the letter, I, I guess text. Yeah, we can do that too. So, okay, this is the thing I desire. So let's just duplicate the border. Uh, copy, paste, and paste. Um, let's just move it to canvas panel. And then paste on the canvas panel. Okay, so border is this one is on top and we need to make it um, on the side so I'm gonna take this like that and okay um, this is just making everything harder how can I do that okay so I will just increase it over here and then move and then do the same again and this is not good enough but it's still meh so okay take this over here and now actually we can just copy this one and paste it to canvas panel and then um, remove one of these and drag this one over here and then we had a copy of this we can just move it downwards and like it doesn't look perfect definitely not but it will just do the thing for educational purposes I am not going into aesthetics of everything anyway on the tutorials so okay this is the border and now we just need the exact same thing but um, it will just be much bigger than this so right now I need to change the width so I'm gonna put my width as 300 to 300 and as you see there are some artifacts now let me just quickly fix them okay so the canvas panel is now this big, but the entire content in it should be moved. 
two. I am moving them over here and now okay as you see there are more artifacts okay let's just keep it this way so I am gonna copy everything and paste them into the canvas panel once again and as you see um, those artifacts just remain so um, as you see they are double I am gonna move the entire thing over here so basically I am having um, okay let's just place it over here place it over here place over here and um, we got one more where is it probably this yeah so right now we need to be careful with um, the distance so like um, they have two um, boxes between so it is okay it is not exactly set up but um, when I am done with it um, you can just do everything on your own so basically I am gonna drag all of them and make them cover um, the entire thing okay and for this and for this the reason why I'm doing this on blueprints is as I mentioned before um, C++ just sucks when you do uh, widget stuff so okay this is our first frame for the animation so I press animation again and give it a name um, shrink and I press shrink and right now the thing I'm gonna do is since I will be shrinking them and shrinking changes their X values Y values and sizes as well I'm gonna take keyframes of everything but not the canvas panel I am gonna get rid of this let's just remove this give it the name shrink again and let's just multi select all of these or not um, let's just select one by one then um, I press shrink and select the four of them and do the same thing for every single one of them and as you can see over here we are getting four of those um, diamond shade things which means um, they are being added correctly make sure that you got all four of them so um, I'm getting to the end of the video but I will just speak um, until the end of the time so the time I want this to be is two and a half um, seconds after two and a half seconds um, if the pre key is not pressed um, we should die so um, this one over here will just go over there and now um, we can just add the keyframes and start manipulating them so we are gonna add them again and um, as you see they are being added over there and um, there are actually much better methods like um, I am manipulating four things but it's not optimal the time is over see you on the next video